This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, and welcome fellow Toastmasters and guests. I have a light inside of me. We all have a light inside of us. Sometimes that light doesn't shine as bright as it could. Sometimes it's bright and alive and we all see it. But throughout our lives, we all have a light that shines within us. My voice teacher once said to me, Catherine, without breath, there is no voice. That voice really identifies to the world who we are, what we believe in and what we value. It shows many things about us that really help us demonstrate how altruistic we are and can be in the world. So I'd like to share with you in the next few minutes, five of the things that I've learned that have helped me let my light shine brightly, that I think are a good reminder during this virus that we have and the changes that we're experiencing in our lives. And I'm hoping that there'll be something that you can take away from this because we all need to experience kindness and compassion and gentleness within us. But I want to remind you about a word that I know that we often use that we associate with heroes and with bravery, and that's the word courage. In my life, as I've been coaching and talking with people in the world of dietetics and as a health coach, I found that we often have to look inside of ourselves to find the courage and to scoop really, really low to stand up for and bring to life the things that are in us that we find important, that we know that we need to share with the rest of the world. So when we're talking about courage, that's something that we need to remember. Another word that I think is really important, and it's one of my strengths, is the word altruism. And altruism is that selfless concern that we have for other people, where we don't expect anything in return, and we don't expect, we don't, we do it with, we do it for out of love and compassion. We do it because we know that the more we give, the more we get back in terms of feeding our lights and making us shine brightly into the world with that light that we want to have shine. So now I'd like to share with you my strengths. My strengths are a love of learning. I continue to learn and I, can, I keep on learning because the more I learn, the more I can stay connected with the world around me and the more I can identify with the things within myself that I need to know so that I can let my light shine out into the world. I, have, I take ownership for the things that I feel ethically bound to so that I str I'm strong and I stand up for them and they help me ground myself in terms of where I'm going and what I'm doing with my life. I have a lot of joy in meeting new people. In fact, my sister would say that I bond with people at garage sales. I'm generous with praise. I love smiling and I have a light and I believe that life is good. My glass is seldom half empty, but most of the time, if it's not half full, I find ways to make it half full. So I wanna share with you the things that I have found that are the values that there are five that I'm gonna share with you, five values that I think are important, values that we all need to keep in mind on a daily basis. And they really are the foundation for what brings happiness, joy, fulfillment, vitality, zest into our lives. And the first one is positive emotions. Positive emotions can be brought to life in gratitude. And the way we explore positive emotions is by being, just looking at the simple things that are around us and being grateful for the sun that's shining outside my window, for the tree that's planted there, for the grass that's coming back to life, for the ball that's sitting on my bed with my notes of what I'm gonna talk about. I really am thankful for Zoom and learning and having the ability and the capacity to muster this and all the people who are helping me do this. So positive emotions around us everywhere. We just have to put ourselves 
into a state where we become mindful and intentional about those things. The second thing that I think is really important in our lives is purpose and meaning. What gives your life purpose? What gives your life meaning? Without having a sense of purpose and meaning, it's really our lives are like taking a trip to Seattle, Washington to see Aunt Susie without having any idea of where Aunt Susie lives, how we're going to get there, why we would want to go, how long we're going to stay, what do we need to do to get along our way. So without having purpose and value in our lives and being able to define them and talk to them about people, we really aren't going to get very far in life in terms of living with that passion and that letting that light shine that's in us that we want to have shine. Another thing that I really know is very, very important is my strengths. I would suggest that many of you probably have done many exercises or a number of exercises on understanding and knowing what your strengths are. When you know your strengths, you know the things that bring joy, that make your light shine, that bring back that altruistic sense of well-being that you experience in your life. So knowing your strengths are one of the important things. If you don't know your strengths or you've forgotten them, I recommend you that you dig them out and that you, push, put, that you study them, that you post them around your house and see where they stand up and where do they show up and where do they come to life in your daily base, on your daily life. So now we're gonna get down to the three really important things about applying what I think are, are the three, three essentials that we have in life, that positive emotion, that sense of purpose and value and knowing our strengths. And the, three th and the things that need to go along with this are a sense of mindfulness, a sense of intention, and the ability to live in the moment. See, I think the pandemic has made us change in many, many ways. And one in the four, probably one of the important one is that some of us are saying, what if? What if things change? What if they're not the same? And mindfulness, and what gives my life purpose and meaning? And what am I going to bring to the table as I live with life and purpose and meaning going forward in my life? Tomorrow, the day after, the day after that, what do I need for today? So when we're talking about mindfulness, it's about taking time to slow down and ask ourselves those questions that we know that we need to ask. Intention really then follows mindfulness down that road and that journey that we're taking on life to let our light shine. And the mindfulness is stopping and pausing and saying, what is it that I would be doing today to live out those purpose and values and to live out and let my strengths really come more to light so that they shine and my light is brighter. And the one last thing that I think is really important is that we pause and we take time to live in the moment. Because if we don't take time to stop and pause and live in the moment, we lose light, we lose, we, we lose out on life, and we're not experiencing life in the moment. So for you, my friends, and for myself, we all have a light within us. It was given to us the day that we were born. It comes with our breath. And it will be with us every single day of our lives until the day that we, don't, that we no longer live. But when we live knowing that we're living with that light and that altruism that we believe in ourselves, and we find the courage to stand up and do that, we let our lives shine. And then truly, we are altruistic because we are sharing with the rest of the world the gifts that we have been given that we need to pass on and share with everyone else. So if you're having a hard time finding your way in life, take time to be mindful, intentional, and live in the moment. And if you need more help, don't hesitate to give me a call because I bet I can let my light shine through into your life. Matt, Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>